Good evening and welcome to The Leather Journey. Uh, we're going to do something a little different tonight. We've never done one of these. On YouTube, there are a lot of try-on hauls, but obviously with The Leather Journey, we're focused on the leather lifestyle and dungeon play. And so how do we go about deciding what to wear to the dungeon and uh, what is Moodstone? What's the process she goes through in selecting uh, an outfit to wear to the dungeon? Well, tonight we're going to give you a little glimpse into what we've been doing in our living room for maybe the last 12 or 13 years. Uh, we got a try-on haul from Sheen. So we have a big bag of stuff to try on. And without further ado, I, I've kind of got the camera sitting beside my recliner. Because this is not... Uh, this is a couple's try and haul, so you'll hear me comment from time to time. But without further ado, let's get started. You didn't open the package. <laughs> well, you have to take it with you, right? All right. Here you go. I thought you were going to open it in front of us. No. Well, you want me to do that? <laughs> we could start over. Not really. Here, let's start up. Oh, you're already undressed. Now, go ahead. All right, Moodstone's got the first outfit on. It's a little red number. Uh, we're not going to mention any pricing because we want the, the video to be have resilience and prices change. But it's... Uh, Rhinestone, chain detail, plunging neck, backless. How do you feel in it? It's very comfortable. I would say that's perfect dungeon wear. I mean, it looks like club wear. Uh, if, if you want to come get, come up so we can get a close up of it, the Thea's helping us with this try on haul. That's our little Yorkie poo. Uh, I like the plunging neckline. If you, you turn around and we look at the back, the, the draping chains looks really dramatic, uh, but a lot of times we'll be in a space where she can't take her dress off and I'm just gonna play with her back. And if it was one of those kind of situations, those would be in the way. I will say at the bottom of the chain, there's a lobster claw. So each one of those five chains could be unhooked and draped off her shoulder out of the way but then reconnecting them in a dim lit dungeon would be a pain in the butt. So that dress realistically would come off if you were in an ideal situation and we're gonna be doing play. But it's street legal and it's gorgeous on her. So thanks. Let's move on to the next number. All right, Moodstone's ready with the next outfit. This is a, a blue rib knit contrast lace top stitching camisole body contouring dress and it's got a got lace tops lace cup and and you look beautiful in it but how do you feel in it comfortable it's stretchy okay stretchy comfortable forgiving uh i would think that would be easy on easy off in the dungeon and you could it's conservative enough you could wear that to dinner you wanted to go if we were doing dinner in a dungeon right yes okay great thank you the third outfit moodstone's wearing tonight is a eggplant purple rhinestone chain detail crisscross backless dress i like that backless dress because obviously i love to throw whips and that would be perfect for it it looks like it's got some runching on the side. What's your opinion of that? Super comfortable. I really like it. Okay, turn around. Okay, get, uh, turn to the, that side, raise your arm up. I want to see underneath the cup. There's something going on there on the side of the cup. What's that? A little higher, right there, that. What's that little tab? Can you tell? No. Oh, okay. Maybe that's a place to put another chain, but it didn't come with it. Okay, great. Sexy, 
glitter sheer camisole style body con dress that is great for dun dungeon play. It would be great for a private house party. Obviously, you would come in in vanilla clothes and change once you got there. Uh, it, I wouldn't personally consider it street legal, but it certainly in a private setting or in a private house party or dungeon, it's great. Looks like it would be comfortable. Extremely comfortable. There's nothing to it. <laughs> and easy on and easy off. Can, can we come up close and give everybody a pirouette and see so they can see it? Very shiny. There's a couple of places we go where they don't allow anything that has glitter because glitter tends to come off the fabric and then uh, the owner has to clean up. All right, wonderful. It's got a tag on the inside that would have to come off. Actually, we left all the tags on so everybody would know these are store-bought. But uh, I'll tell you, the way we go about doing this, then, all right, Moonstone's back. We have a plunging neck, ruched dress. I would say that's brown. It kind of has an asymmetrical split hem. If you want to show that hem off a little bit. It kind of gives you the illusion, the way the front's done, that there's a little bit of corseting going on, but it's not really. See underneath the, the bodice, the way it's detailed. So what do you think? It's beautiful, it's comfortable, it's stretchy, my favorite. It almost doesn't look like a dungeon dress. It looks like a dinner out, uh, you know, when I take you to a restaurant or something. I guarantee you will get compliments in a dungeon on this dress. Okay. I think so far that's my favorite. She's wearing a sexy draped backless split hem, uh, metallic blue. And we're gonna ask her to, to stay out here just for a minute so that we can talk a little bit about our process. Sometimes she gets this urge to go shopping and she'll go up to Sheen or Fashion Nova or some other website and she'll just go through and throw stuff in the shopping cart, whatever she likes, right? And my goal is to get free shipping, get as many outfits as we can get that she likes and stay under a hundred dollars. Okay, so this this haul tonight from Sheen costs less than a hundred dollars. I don't know what each dress costs, but we're looking at most of them are less than ten dollars or less. Okay, and we're gonna she's gonna wear these to the dungeon, and we go to three or four dungeons. She'll try not to wear the same outfit twice, but as soon as an outfit has graced every one of our normal stomping ground places. She'll give the dress away to somebody and we'll move on because by then we'll be ready for another try on haul. So if you want to come up close, this one wouldn't be street legal. You'd walk into the dungeon vanilla and change at the change room once you're inside the venue, but it's my favorite so far. I can't understand why this dress might be my favorite. Now, let me say something about sure. this. <laughs> I did not choose this dress. When Master went to pay for the dresses, he threw this in. I would never buy this dress ever, because I, I, it's not me. But that's, it looks good that's on That's all you. I have to say. It looks good <laughs> on you. All right, well, thanks for trying it on for us. We'll see if it ever actually makes it to the dungeon, right? Well, thanks as always for watching The Leather Journey. Uh, it's our first fashion try-on haul. As we do a few more of these, I'm sure we'll get a little smoother with it. Uh, but regardless, it's what we do in our living room, literally, when we get a package of goodies from, uh, you know, from one of the companies that we work with.